Four, five red lights. Here is Silverson for the British Grand Prix. They've gone underway. Seems like maybe Haaland's actually had a good start. Trying to get a better view. Better view. And yet, and yet they have stayed as they are in the top three. Just trying to see if there's any action. Drake going for it on Mateo. Mateo going for it on Haaland. And Haaland just in a bit of a sandwich there. So now fine with Mateo. Yeah, so now going around the outside of Drake who calls on those technically better ties at least for now. But now Drake wants to have it back. Will goes defensive. Drake now trying to go around the outside. Going into Brooklyn so they come up to Luffield. Important Drake battles are. Tom Stevens dropping a couple of places back behind Top Jack and Jeffrey. Jeffrey already up to 12th place. So he's had a very good start. And Cody, he was about, what, a second behind or so during that VSC. Now only half a second behind. the farm. Him. Down he heavy breaking to the right into the village. And then, of course, bigger heavy breaking. Sweeping away around the loop. And they're all being gingerly at the moment, but uh, somebody's going to be attacking anytime soon. What's yeah, that? You see. Saf, yeah, just give me an indication there. Thomas Harvey just set the fastest lap on the medium, so yes, that's an indication of how quick they are. So, so is it a case, actually, if the mediums are genuinely the quicker race? Lap? He's got to get past it somewhere along the line of the track. Well, oh, Will's made a mistake. Oh, Drake nearly drops it, just saves it. Uh, but uh, he does. As Harlem has got past Mateo, now Mateo looking for a way to get back past, not now. Uh, and as you say, Cody saying behind Luke, just pulling both of them away from this little train for third place. Look how many of them there are. There are down to fifth. They're just them not constantly going for it, not constantly attacking, not going for that. It just sort of elevates the appreciation you have. Going to for it into Veil, vale. here we go. This could be it. Oh, Drake sticks it down the inside. He wants the room. Will just parking his car in the right place, but he gets a penalty due to the lines he was taking. So that could be... A better exit of Drake did! And the, are we going to see this close your eyes through cops side by side? No, nope, looks like Will's settled behind for now. Maybe that... Give you a break, give you a see break the pace at least. Yenab... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we, if we could see the pace that Yenab has on this medium, see maybe the power of the undercut there may be, whether he's gone too early. Uh, in 30 so. minutes time is that British rain is it going to be heavy enough do you have to put it in the zone or will it just be a little bit of like you know typical London shower I mean UK shower who knows but uh, it's going to throw a span in the mix strategies that play all over the place I hope you guys are run down there really quickly from the commentating <laughs> box and I'll uh, do a 10 I'll get my stopwatch out let's see what Luke can do so Cody can go we know Cody can go long on his tyres he's always done that but can Cody keep up the pace when Luke gets some fresh boots on Maybe the other thing to consider is someone's round is that uh, Will Gibson. It is Luke's off. Sorry, Will's off. And that's how the exit of Stowe. He's pulling into the pits. He's got no front wing. I wouldn't be surprised if that's race over. VSC. Are thinking about their pits soon. Tire wise, what are you think they're on? They're probably about 40s or so. So they can probably do at least another handful left. No, Cody's in. Has been jumped by Cody. And actually, Harlem now within DRS of Luke. So, you know, there's only one that difference. Luke hasn't got. In fact, actually, Luke doesn't quite on that one. But <laughs> he's got it, got to show it in your race pace there, Mateo, because now you're going to be in big pressure because green flag conditions and you've got some old worn tyres. And look at that. Carter's already going to be picking you to pieces here on lap 11. No one really gaining enough on anyone else to so maybe go from move Jeffrey, the closest one in the moment, with Top Jack. As Top Jack hasn't had the greatest of lines through Stowe, uh, but Jeffrey didn't have the best exit, so. They will keep on going as is for now. It's supposed to be rain coming at some point. Whether that will turn up before the end of the race, whether it will come down hard enough, we don't know. But there should be rain towards, like, right at the end of this race. Hey, it ain't over yet. Bring it home. And perhaps a late safety car could come fall into your hands currently in the moment. Because we still have 19 gladiators in this race. 22 ca has car. Obviously, it looks exactly the same oh, livery was. That Go looks ahead. like a drive through I think he's doing a drive-through. He is doing a drive-through, yeah. Ah, yeah. His tyres pretty much uh, cooked and dusted about 60%, but still driving great. Yeah. I wonder if this is maybe one of those tracks actually uh, trying to get there before the rain comes. Uh, but that now puts Mateo without DRS, because the other thing I was saying is maybe he's staying out because he keeps DRS. He doesn't want to lose that it's DRS. A little bit of time by staying a little bit later. That's exactly what Mateo is going to be thinking in his team. And Mercedes, as Toto's going to be crunching numbers, that's where you're about you're going to drop out right now if you box. Mercedes, where's the other Mercedes? Third. 
and there's a car separating. And maybe Mateus trying to back Carter into Top Jaggers. We've got a yellow flag. Is that Will Gibson again? It is. That's at the final corner. So it's getting spicy here already, and that rain is still looming in the background, mate. Yeah, uh, I think it's just ticked over to now. It's going to be sometime in the next 15 minutes. We all know how much this is going to cost some time. And the pit stop that came back out, Drake got the fresh boots on. Drake is now blighting up the timing boards. And anytime soon, you're going to see Drake's name up the top there with the fastest lap. It's now putting a massive pressure there on Harlem. So I think Luke Smith might be able to get past that. But then again, up the road is Cody Lawrence. So you should one, two, and three in your qualifying performance. Currently running six, seven, and eight. Quickest man on track at the moment, but he's got a little bit of a Ferrari problem up ahead. And look at Richie and P17 as well down the road. There it is. So there it is. Job done there for Drake. Gets up the road there. He's got a lot of work to do too. Six seconds and change to catch Luke Smith. Who's close up a bit to Cody as well. These three could start fighting. Maybe even as soon as the hangar straight. Cody doesn't seem to be going as well as these two through Max and Beckett's. Uh, as Jeffrey's gone round uh, at Luffield. Bill. Between Degs, a.k.a. Luke Smith there. Trying to get past Harlem. Just trying to get past Cody got Drake. He's really pacey at the background. Yon is catching them. It's all over the place, guys. Yeah. Uh, in terms of Everybody the weather, sort of, oh, there might be rain coming, there might be rain coming. And then it comes like, during the podium celebrations. Or something like that. Uh, it's Harlem it's now gone around the outside of Cody, and Luke is trying to follow through as oh, well. Oh, that, is that intermediates? Are people going on to intermediate tires? Matter in the pits, apparently. Is it? Yes, it is! Wow! Oh, no! We've... <laughs> Oh, no, it's only been staying out that long. And, oh, actually, I am seeing rain. He had to box, I am though. seeing rain. He had to box, remember, because he was out there for so oh, long. Oh, but he's slipping a lot. Yeah, his rear so end is all You've still over. got Mark leading this race now. Um, I'm actually showing 20 laps on uh, those tires. It's probably completely is incorrect. Glitch, I believe it is. Oh, he spun off! Leading. Mark has spun! Yeah, he's not actually in the lead. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm over the place right now. <laughs> Sorry, apologies, yeah, guys. Yeah, no, oh, Pony Mateo had a puncture. That I am not too surprised by, because he was over 70% last time we checked. So... Yeah, unfortunately, Mateo with that puncture, and Luke has got back past Harlem and now past Cody. Luke has taken back the net lead of this race. So the question is, I mean, I... yeah, it's a, it's well, at least we're back in there. Apologies about that, guys. It is intermediates. It's intermediates for the wow. Ferrari. Uh, so, but they have to box in the moment. They're bunched up. Now, think about it. They box. They're going to come back out around. Oh, geez, 29 second pistol. Harlem and Luke are finding time to cut you off, but Harlem and Luke going side by side as they come down into Vale. Three uh, laps remaining in this race, and we have four drivers yet to pit. I, I again, I really do think these medium runners have been dealt a very difficult hand because it's a case of one, what tire do we go to? Two, so they're gonna do it soon. They're gonna drop left, right, and center. Harlem, Luke, Harlem, Cody, and Drake are the ones that could be battling for podiums here. I'm not seeing much standing water because out that looks like a crash. Yeah, no, but no, no, safety car, not on this 24th lap, no nope, way. not this late on. But Cody's and now yeah, thinking about Yeah, there we go, Beaker's just speared off to the right. So Jack into the pits, Brownie will either have to come in this lap on the next lap, he can pit in the next lap if he wants to, but at this, again, at this one, they pit too late okay, to make any... a little bit on the soft tyres, but he's also struggling for traction. Luke can control this race, Harlem, can he do anything about it? Can Cody do anything about it? That'll be your podium positions, if they can make it work for one more lap, or two more laps. Strategy. You'll find sector two. That is a McLaren. That might be Tom. I think, yeah, that's Tom. Uh, Yonsi has a penalty. That's unfortunate. That's going to drop him behind. So is Cody because he's trying to send one up the inside, but he can't do it there yet. Last lap of the race. Luke has got this one, I think. But who's going to get that P2? That's going to be the key. Round right 11. We're nearly at the halfway point of the season now. And Luke extends his lead at the top of the championship. Oh, he's fine! He slides Luke across the line. Oh, he's, fine. he's fine. He's fine. No. He's fine. He went across the line. I'm a young Alpine driver because I never give up on his veranda. Congratulations. You are a winner at home and your Silverstone Grand Prix.